name's Mr. Williams, and this is my friend Sonny. And Sonny has very kindly brought some pears along for us to share today. Thanks, Sonny, that's very kind. Let's see how many he's brought. One, two, three, four pears. And Sonny, is it right these for, are for us to share out? Okay, so if I put some on your plate, here we go, Sonny, let, let, let's put one on there for you. And I'm gonna put some on my plate. Okay, are you happy about that, Sonny? No? No, actually you're right, because that doesn't look fair because I've got more pears than you, haven't I? Okay, let's start again. So, we've got our four pears. And if we want to be fair about this, we both need to have the same, don't we? Okay, so, one for Sunny, one for me, one for Sunny, and one for me. Does that look better, Sunny? Okay, so we have four pairs, and now we've shared them equally into two, and we have got two pairs each. And when we divide things into two, we call that finding half. So we have found half of four pairs. Half of four is two, and me and Sunny have got two pairs each. So today's session is all about finding half. So for this session, you are going to need three saucers or small plates, 10 counters, and you could use buttons or pebbles or anything else you have at home, and you will need a pencil and paper, or you could use a whiteboard and a pen if you have one. So for our first activity today, we are going to need some frogs. Oh, there they are. And I'm going to need your help to help me put the frogs into two groups. So we're going to find half of the frogs. So to begin with, we have four frogs all on the big lily pad and we want to split them into two. We want to find half of four. And remember, finding half is dividing into two equal groups. So both the small lily pads must have the same number of frogs. Okay, let's start. So let's put one frog on that lily pad and one on that lily pad and one over there and one on that one. So we have divided them, we have shared them equally between the two lily pads. And on each little lily pad, there are two frogs. So we have found half of four. Half of four is two. Wow, there are a lot more frogs now. Let's see if we can count them up together. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frogs. So now what we want to do is to find half of eight. And remember, we find half by sharing into two equal groups. Here we go. One frog there, one over there, one on that lily pad, one on this one, one over there, one over there, and one on that lily pad, and one over there. And if we count up the frogs on each of the smaller lily pads, we have got one, two, three, four on the first lily pad, and one, two, three, four on the second lily pad. So we have found half of eight. Half of eight equals four. Well, aren't there a lot of frogs now? First things first, let's count them carefully. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten frogs. So what we want to do now is to find half of ten frogs. And we find half by splitting into two equal groups. Okay, let's do this. One over there and one over there. 
one on that knee pad, one on that one, one there, one frog over there, one on that lily pad, and one over there, and one frog there, and one frog there. Okay, let's check how many frogs we have on each lily pad. We have got one, two, three, four, five on that lily pad, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we've got the same amount, so we have found half. We have two equal groups. So, half of ten is five. Well done, everybody. That was fantastic work helping me to sort those frogs into halves, into two equal groups. Now, shall we have a go at trying an activity ourselves? So, for this activity, you're going to need your plates and your counters, and we are going to use the plates to find halves, to find two equal groups. OK, so I've set out my three plates, and on the first plate, I'm going to put my counters, and I'm going to begin with two counters, because I want to find out what half of two is. And I'm going to find that by dividing my two counters equally between the other two plates. So I'm going to put a counter over there and one on the other plate. And I've got two equal groups. They both got the same on. And I have found out that half of two is one. OK, let's try another one. This time I'm going to put four counters on my plate and... That's going to help me to work out what half of four is. OK, so let's share these out equally between the other two plates. OK, one counter over there for one button. One counter over there. One on this plate. And one on that plate. So I have shared my four buttons into two equal groups. And on each of the two plates, I have got two buttons. So half of four equals two. Now, can you please pause the video here and use your plates and your counters to work out what half of two is? Half of four, half of six, half of eight and half of ten and write the answers down on your paper or on your whiteboard and when you have worked them out you can start the video again. Okay, off you go. Welcome back. How did you get on? Okay, let's just check our answers. Half of two is one, half of four is two, Half of six is three, half of eight is four, and half of ten is five. Wow, brilliant work, everybody. OK, are you ready for our next activity? Now, our next activity is going to be using our magic halving machine. And this very clever machine, whichever number you put into it, it has a little think, and then it sends out half of the number the other side. So. See if you can guess what the number's going to be, what the half is going to be before the machine works it out. OK, first up, we've got number four, which is about to go into the halving machine. OK, in it goes. OK, the machine's going to have a little think. See if you can beat it. What's going to come out? What is half of four? Half of four is two. Well done if you got that one right. OK, next up into the machine is eight. Are you ready? In it goes. Half of eight. Machine's having a think. Half of eight is four. OK, two is next into the machine. Off it goes. Have a little think, children. What do you think the answer is? Half of two is one. OK, next up, into the machine. Ten is about to go in. Thinking caps on. 
In it goes, the machine's having a think. What's going to come out? Half of ten is five. Okay, last one, everybody. Six is going to go into the machine. The machine's having a think. And half of six is three. Brilliant work, everybody. A fantastic job of finding those halves. Now, are you ready for a quick quiz? Let's see how many of those halves you can remember. Okay, are you ready to answer? Okay, half of 10. Yes, well done, good job. Okay, half of 10 was five. Next one, half of four. Well done, half of four is two. Okay, next one, half of eight. Well done, half of eight is four. Okay, one more. Half of six. Yes, well done. Half of six is three. Well done, everybody. So, in today's session, we have been finding halves of numbers up to ten. Well done for working so hard. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.